So in 1998, I treated a young man named Wesley Mass. He had a moderate asthma, and he had a single mom who could only get medications when she went to Bartsdale Air Force Base, and she didn't have a car, so she relied on other people to get her there. And I had seen him two weeks before a fatal asthma attack, and he was doing pretty well. His lung function was not bad, but it was during a time that she was not able to go get that medication that he had a severe attack at home and died. It really got me thinking, you know, what can be done to try to prevent something like this from happening in the future. And I was at my national meeting that fall after his funeral, and I see a bus pulled up in a parking lot having a clinic, and it just seemed to be the perfect fit for what we needed to do here. So you have children, the bus comes to you rather than the children having to come to the bus, so that fits the transportation issue. The biggest challenge that I see with children that uh, their asthma is not managed is they're missing a lot of school um, or they're missing activities because they can't, you know, catch their breath just to play outside or per participate in PE. This bus is important because we provide opportunities for people who might not otherwise get a chance to get specialty care. We enhance outreach, we enhance access to care for children with asthma. When a patient comes into the room, the patient goes back and visits with their nurse. And a nurse does a pulmonary function test, that's a spirometry. Spirometry is not something you'll find at every primary care clinic, and it specifically manages lung volumes and lung speeds. Once we have a pulmonary function test, we bring the patient back to the exam room, and in the exam room, we do a head-to-toe physical. If we determine that these patients have allergies, then we do a tremendous amount of teaching. Nothing is more important than teaching how to identify the signs and symptoms of asthma, how to identify the triggers of their asthma, and how to treat their asthma. If it wasn't for the UT Asthma Bus, I don't even believe my son would be here today. I was consistently taking him to the emergency room. He was having an um, extremely hard time breathing. He's playing now, and while he's at school, I'm enjoying him um, being able to play and do his activities and his learning at school, and I don't have to be stressed out about um, coming to get him to take him to the emergency room. Before, I couldn't play football, couldn't run, do anything but now I can. Because of the bus, it feels like I'm not even sick anymore. It's like I don't even have asthma anymore. 